Hey guys, this is Carolina Varsity. We're at week 12 and we have a huge conference championship game here, as it is almost every year. Butler is uh, traveling to play Independence. I'm Dale Ross. And I'm Matt Marta Pittman. And like you said, Southwest Conference Championship game here. Big key here, Butler is coming off a of bye. They mm -hmm. had a chance to get out and scout Independence last week. Independence didn't have that luxury, so... And plus, it works those players back in that were out for Butler. Right. So they now they're getting back into their uh, flow and timing and everything. Uh, so let's take a look at it here. Uh, like we said, Butler appears to be back at full strength. And I think we're going to see a nice matchup here between Duck and Stone mm -hmm. on both sides of the ball. Uh, they both have played offense and defense um, in the past. And um, we're probably going to see them match up on both sides here. Um, if I was Butler, I'd lock Duck on Stone if he's on mm -hmm. offense and vice versa. Um, Butler, however, I think they're going to have to be able to throw the ball against Independence. Independence has done a good job in conference play stopping the run. Um, defensively, Butler can allow, you know, the, the, uh, Independence stars Stone and uh, Davis, uh, Quantavius Davis McGill, mm -hmm. uh, to beat them. they got to force the other guys at Independence to step up. And those other guys stepped up last week against Rocky River, but they got to do it again right. now in a big game environment. Uh, for Independence, they've opened some people's eyes up. They're getting some press again like they used to. But now this is the big test. Are they ready for the test? Right. Final exam is what I'm calling it. Exactly. Final <laughs> exam. There you go. Um, offensively, quarterback McPhail has seen to show some progress in the passing game. Hit some big plays last week against Rocky River. His play is going to be huge if Independence win this, is to win this game. I think he might have to make some plays with his feet to give the Butler defense an added dimension to worry about. Butler defense has been very good all year long despite whatever's going on over there. They've been the one consistent thing. Right. And um, you've got to be multiple in the way you attack them to get them on, off kilter. Uh, I think Stone and Davis for uh, Independence have got to have big games. And Perkins, one right. of your uh, mentions for players of the game, that wide receiver's got to repeat his performance last week against Rocky River. I saw that touchdown he caught out of the slot. I think, you know, you get away from the two outside corners Butler has, you might be able to hurt them in the passing game in that slot area. Right. Um, defensively, for Independence, they got to bring the heat on cheek in passing situations, force him to make big throws against pressure. And obviously, you can't allow LeMay to get into any kind of space to make plays. Right. Um, I'd play Butler in some man coverage. Uh, they've got ability on the outside now with some adjustments they made in the secondary, especially on early downs. Uh, make cheap, make plays, beating your best guys against Butler's best guys and the receivers. Yeah, exactly. So the first thing is this game is the only conference championship in the in the uh, city mm -hmm. this uh, Friday night or this week. So yeah. uh, makes it a big ball game. Uh, when you look at where both teams are at and where they have, how they have gotten here. Like you said, it's pretty big for Butler to have that uh, week off. Mm -hmm. uh, they get, obviously you can get a little healing going on, but you yeah. also, you have the players that have come back and you're working them in. So now they maybe are a little more in sync and they've got whatever kinks worked out uh, for this ball game. Mm -hmm. They were able to sit in those stands Friday night and watch that Rocky River game. Uh, you mentioned an interesting point as far as McPhail needs to make some things happen with his feet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I don't know that, from what I've seen, I think that's going to be very tough, but they do need to make some some things happen from back there. And I've just wondered, uh, you know, do you uh, or should they uh, consider, you know, if I'm, uh, if I'm independent, I might do some things like put stone back there in the wildcat. Wildcat. Yeah. You know, this is a game where you would show something new. Because the one thing that I think Independence has got to do that I do not believe they've done a good enough job this year, and that's run the ball. Mm -hmm. They're going to need to run the ball in this ball game. Because if you look at uh, Butler and maybe where they're the weakest uh, on defense, I think it would be up front uh, in that uh, front seven. If you were to look at where they're the toughest, I'm not saying they're a pushover at those areas, but well, they're not. <laughs> but that would be that would be their weaker area, uh, and their tougher area is going to be obviously to attack that uh, secondary. They've got some they've got some good athletes back there. So obviously, Independence has got some good athletes. Mm -hmm. The uh, Independence line is going to have to give him time to throw the ball. 
uh, you know, the big question is going to be, can independents stop the run game of Butler? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, will they be able to, to shut down or slow down LeMay? That's a big question. You know, this is not Rocky River they're facing. So that's true. Uh, a much al maligned team to a team that, uh, you know, many people in the report saying Butler uh, is favored in this game 31 to 7. Wow. It's hard to be closer. It's hard for me to pick this because where is Independence actually at is the question. Mm -hmm. Like you say, this is the exam. Uh, some of what they've done, I mean, they've had some close ball games with some, uh, some of the teams just below them. So mm -hmm. uh, have they accelerated now? Was, was this past week in a, an acceleration into that next level to be able to, to step up and play at that Butler level? Right. Uh, and has Butler, you know, I still have some questions of the, with Butler because the players that return don't really help them in some of the areas I've just spoke to. Uh, those players okay. returning in skill, you know, skill position areas on defense and offense. Um, mm -hmm. But Independence hadn't really shown that um, that ability to be a strong running team. Like I know that um, uh, Harden would like them to be. So, uh, you know, is thirty-one to seven right? On one hand, you could probably think yeah, and then on the other hand, you got to think. Uh, it's got to be closer than that. So I feel like it'll be closer. I mean, you got the rival aspect of it too. Mm -hmm. um, I I feel like it, I just have a feeling it'll be closer than that. You know, one part of me says we could see a forty-two to forty-one kind of game, another classic. Exactly, <laughs> one of those like they've had here the, yeah. know, the last few years. Yeah. Uh, it's been a great game. If you don't know where to go Friday night, I'd go to Van Hill. That's, that would that would yeah. be a good one to go to. It's, so. on, it's on my short list. Again. <laughs> <laughs> it's on mine too, but it's down the list, like like I say. So uh, if you don't pick that other game, you can you can go to this one. Uh, it it very well has the up uh, the uh, potential to be an exciting ball game. Yeah. Most definitely. Independence plays like they think they're capable of playing now. It'll be a good ball. Game. Yeah, it will. It will. Butler plays like they think they are playing. It won't be. So, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we'll see. Boy. If both are playing like they think they <laughs> can, we could have that 42 to 41 ball game. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. We know you'll tell us about it. Exactly. So uh, make it over to Mint Hill, uh, you you know the parking over there, et cetera, and getting into the stadium. Get there go. early. Get there early. There early. Yeah. No pregame sales. Um, That's right. So you got to get there early. That's right. And the game has not been moved either. No. So. If I'm Independence, I wouldn't move it. Mm -hmm. I'd want it right there. Yep. All right. You guys have a great ball game. <laughs>